Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing Pythagorean Theorem. So remember, Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the first thing that we looked at with Pythagorean Theorem was modeling it. What this really means is the sum of the areas of the two smaller squares, so a squared plus b squared, adding those squares together, equals the area of the largest squared, so c squared. So in this picture right here, they are asking us what is the relationship between squares d, e, and f. Well, I can see that I have a right triangle in here, and I know that f is going to be the largest squared because it is the square of the side across from the right angle. So that means that the areas of d and e would equal the area of F. So the areas of square D and E added together equals the area of square F. Okay, let's look at number two. It says, if the area of square D is 10 units squared and the area of square E is 42 units squared, what is the area of square F? So we know these two squares added together equals the largest square. So to find square F, I would just do 42 plus 10. So that means that square F is 52 units squared. Okay, so the first thing we looked at was the areas, and then we also looked at finding missing side lengths. So to find a missing side length, you will plug the legs in for A and B and the hypotenuse for C, and you will solve for the missing variable. Remember, when you're finding a shorter side, so a leg A or B, you will subtract, and if you were finding the longer side, the hypotenuse, you will add. So let's look at number three. It says, what is the value of X in the right triangle shown below? So I am given the legs. I'm given the shorter sides that form a right angle, A and B, and I need to find C. So I will plug into A squared plus B squared equals C squared by doing 18.2 squared plus 17.1 squared equals X squared. So first thing I'm going to do is type that into the calculator, 18.2 squared plus 17.1 squared is 623.65. And that will equal the hypotenuse squared. And the last thing I need to do to figure out that side length is take the square root. So I'm going to do second square of 623.65, and I get 24.972. So if I was rounding to the nearest tenth, that nine would round up, which would make it about 25 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number four. It says, what is the value of X in the right triangle shown below? So this time I am finding a leg they gave me a leg and they gave me the side across from the hypotenuse, C. I'm gonna plug into A squared plus B squared equals C squared, so it'll be X squared plus 57.8 squared equals 61.2 squared. And I'm trying to get X by itself, so the first thing I'm gonna do is subtract the 57.8 squared. So that'll zero out right here and X squared will be whatever 61.2 squared minus 57.8 squared is, which is 404.6. And the last thing I need to do to get X by itself is take the square root 
and the square root of 404.6 is 20.1. So that side length would be 20.1 meters. Okay, let's look at number five. The width of a rectangle is seven feet and the diagonal length of the rectangle is 25 feet. What is the length of the rectangle in feet? So let's draw out a picture of this. The width of the rectangle is seven feet and the diagonal of the rectangle is 25 feet. So I can see a right triangle forming in here within the rectangle, and they're wanting me to find the length, which would be this distance right here. So I am finding a leg. So it's gonna be similar to the last one. I'll do x squared plus seven squared equals 25 squared. So the first thing I will need to do is subtract and I get x squared equals 25 squared minus seven squared is 576. And the last thing I need to do is take the square root and the square root of 576 is 24. So the length of the rectangle would be 24 feet. Okay, well then with Pythagorean theorem, we looked at the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, which just says if three numbers work with the Pythagorean theorem, that means it is a right triangle. So if we're trying to figure out if three side lengths would form a right triangle, we just plug into the Pythagorean theorem. So let's look at number six. It says which measurements could not represent the side lengths of a right triangle. So they are wanting us to find the one that could not represent a right triangle. That's important. You might want to highlight or underline that word. So let's plug into Pythagorean theorem. I am going to add the squares of the two smaller sides. So on A, I would do 1.2 squared plus 3.5 squared and I get 13.69. And then I'm gonna do 3.7 squared, and it's also 13.69. So these side lengths would form a right triangle. I'm looking for the ones that would not form a right triangle, so that's not my answer. So let's go to B. I do this two smaller sides squared added together. So I'm gonna do five squared plus 12 squared, and I get 169. And I wanna see if it equals 13 squared, which is also 169. Since those are equal, those are right triangle, so that is not my answer. Okay, let's look at C. I'm gonna do three squared plus four squared, and I get 25. And then seven squared is 49. Those do not equal each other. Since these do not work with the Pythagorean theorem, I think that's my answer, but I'm gonna verify on the last one just to make sure. 14 squared plus 48 squared, is 2,500 and 50 squared is also 2,500. So it would be a right triangle. So the only one that's not a right triangle is C. So that's gonna be my answer. All right, let's look at number seven. It says, which measurements could represent the side lengths of a right triangle? So this time I am trying to find the ones that form a right triangle and I'm going to select two correct answers this time. So I want the two set of side lengths that do form a right triangle. So let's do the same thing, plug into the Pythagorean theorem. So 40 squared plus 42 squared is 3,364. And then 58 squared is also 3,364. So since A squared plus B squared equals C squared, that is a set of sides that would form a right triangle. Let's try with the next one. I would do 12 squared plus 35 squared. And I get 1,369 and I wanna see if it equals 47 squared, which is 2,209. Those do not equal each other, so they're not a right triangle. All right, let's try the next one. I would do 11 squared plus 12 squared. And I get 265. And I wanna see if it equals 13 squared, 
which is 169. Those do not equal each other, so that's not a set of sides of for a right triangle. And then the last one, I'm going to do 10 squared plus 49.5 squared, and I get 2,550.25, and let's see if that equals 50.5 squared. That is also 2,550.25. So there are the two sets of side lengths that would form a right triangle. Okay, the last thing we're gonna go over is distance on the coordinate plane. So remember to find distance on the coordinate plane, you just need to plot the points. If they're not already plotted for you, draw a right triangle and we're gonna use the distance between those two points as the hypotenuse. Then we can count the legs and use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing distance. So on number eight, they already have a graph plotted for us. And they're asking what is the distance between point M and point T. So point M is right here and point T is right here. I want to find this distance right here. I'm gonna call that side X. And as you can see, there's a right triangle here. I cannot count that diagonal distance that they're wanting me to find, but I can count a vertical or a horizontal distance on a coordinate plane since it goes straight through the ordered pairs. So let's find this side length. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And this side length would be one, two, three, four, five. So to find the distance between point M and point T, I'm gonna do six squared plus five squared and it'll equal the distance between M and T or X squared. So let's do six squared plus five squared. I get 61. And then my last step is to take the square root and the square root of 61 is 7.8 units. Okay, number nine says point J is located at negative two, one, and point K is located at three, four. What is the length of J, K? Lines, this little line above it means line segment J, K. So let's plot these points. J is at negative two, so left two, up one. And then K is at three, four, so I'm gonna go from the origin, right, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, four. So I'm wanting to find this distance between J and K. That's a hypotenuse of a right triangle we're gonna draw. You can draw it above like this or below like this, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer either way. I'm gonna draw it below. And now I'm gonna count those legs. This horizontal leg is one, two, three, four, five. And this vertical leg is one, two, three. So to find the hypotenuse, I will do three squared plus five squared equals X squared. So three squared plus five squared is 34 and that equals x squared, and my last step is to take the square root, and the square root of 34 is about 5.8 units.